My name is Yoni Libowicz. I head the cloud architects team in Eastern US and Canada. I work for Checkpoint, Checkpoint Software. Checkpoint Software is a cybersecurity company. We are channel driven. We are completely focused on cybersecurity, and that has been the source of our success over the years. When customers move to the cloud, they know that they are in the world of shared responsibility, right? where Microsoft is responsible for the security of the cloud itself, and customers are responsible for what they put in the cloud. Deploying CloudGuard IaaS is a great way to uh, uh, execute that responsibility of that customer. CloudGuard Infrastructure as a Service, CloudGuard IaaS is providing layer seven, right, full stack protection, or network protection. CloudGuard IaaS itself supports hybrid cloud. It also can be deployed uh, on-prem, on private clouds, including uh, Azure Stack. And what it delivers, it delivers a set of protection that customer expect from a, a next generation firewall and then some. The policy itself can be uh, cloud aware, so the policy can change as your cloud evolves automatically. We deliver all of that in a package that is itself based on a virtual machine scale set in Azure. Uh, so we harness some of the great technologies that Azure provided us to do that. Cloudgrad IaaS was recently integrated with uh, Sentinel. The integration, which is documented both on Checkpoint side and on the Microsoft website, allows customers to easily pull all of the logs and the alerts that are received by the Checkpoint management into Sentinel. It allows them to have a single pane of glass uh, through which they can slice and dice and see events that are coming from Checkpoint as one source and other sources uh, from within or without the Azure uh, uh, environment. So they can, uh, they can correlate it, they can slice and dice it, they can visualize it. The use cases are practically whenever a customer deploys things into a VNet and needs internet connectivity, right, then the question arises about how am I going to protect? And not just by closing and opening ports, right, but how do I offer real layer 7 protection right, for traffic that traverses that boundary? There are reasons to sometimes uh, deliver layer 7 uh, protection or inspection for internal segmentation within the cloud, right? Between segments that will be defined as DMZs and segments that will be defined as internal. And you do want to see and block attacks from spreading or malicious activity from spreading from the outside inside, right? So customers have traditionally done that on their data center and many of them are continuing to do that in the cloud. We uh, offer two licensing models. Either go to a Checkpoint uh, partner and buy a Bring Your Own license. That's an annual license uh, that they buy and they can renew. Or they can just uh, pay through Microsoft on a pay-as-you-go model. They pay on a minute-by-minute -minute basis. So there's no intrinsically Microsoft license that's required to deploy Checkpoint. Of course, if you want to use Sentinel, then you have to get it from Azure. I think one of the really cool things that we did is we, we developed a blueprint Right, that allows customers to quickly deploy um, checkpoint IaaS in a very scalable way. Yeah.